Welcome to Sports, everybody. I'm Chris Saunders. The Bahamas was hoping to clinch a spot in the Pan American Games men's softball competition for in 2014. The national team is in Colombia trying to make that push and heading into competition, it was still a possibility. Julian Gibson tonight is in Colombia. This men's national softball team 2013 world qualifier and Pan Am Games 2014 qualifier with Julian Gibson from Medellin, Colombia is brought to you by Phil's Food Service. Against Guatemala, you cannot blame this one on Alcott Forbes. Alcott pitched a dandy of a ball game in the bottom of the first inning with two runners on and two out. A bouncing ball to Richard Bean Jr. at second base. He couldn't come up with the plate. As a result, Guatemala would score three big runs in the first inning. Now on the top of the third inning, Team Bahamas blew a golden opportunity to get onto the scoreboard with the bases juice. Marvin Tugiewood would strike out. Guatemala would add a next run in the fifth inning, making the score four to nothing. Alcott Forbes still pitching for Team Bahamas. They would come storming back in the top of the seventh inning. A double by Greg Gardner. Richard Bean with a single. Jose Hilton with a single. Wayne Johnson with a single. Edney Bethel pinch hitting for Martin Burroughs Jr. He got hit by a pitch. Team Bahamas came up with four big runs in the top of the seventh inning to tie the score for all. But in the bottom of the seventh, Guatemala would come up with the winning run. Beating the Bahamas, a tough loss. Team Bahamas losing this one five to four. Now in the second half of the doubleheader, the tough luck would continue for Team Bahamas against Puerto Rico with Thomas Davis pitching. Boy, he struggled. He gave up two runs. In fact, he only got one batter out. Edney to JC Bethel came in to slam the door. Puerto Rico would score three more runs. The Bahamas now trailing Puerto Rico five to two. Now in the top of the seventh, Team Bahamas would really come storming back, hitting the cover off of the softball. Michael Sweeting with a single. Lamar Watkins field his choice. Marvin Tugiewood with a single. Sherman Ferguson with a double. Jose Hilton with a three run shot. All of this coming in the top of the seventh inning. Team Bahamas would take a six to five lead. But in the bottom of the seventh, Puerto Rico would get one run to tie the score at six. The two teams would go into extra innings, but it would all come down to this. Now in the bottom of the ninth, Puerto Rico would smash a two-run shot over the right field fence. The Bahamas go down in defeat. Final score, nine to seven, a tough loss for Team Bahamas. In Medellin, Colombia, reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. This men's national softball team 2013 world qualifier and Pan Am 2014 qualifier with Julian Gibson from Medellin, Colombia was brought to you by Phil's Food Service. All right, Julian, thanks a lot. Still talking softball now. NPSA ladies first round playoffs underway right now at the Blue Hill Sporting Field. They should be on the diamond right about now. The defending champs, the proper care pool lady sharks and the lady hitman sharks find themselves on the life vest and holding on the ropes. They're down 0-2. Skipper Stephen Bishop Benneby, a bit hesitant. Same thing, we coming out to play ball. Mm -hmm. If our pitching hold up, we can win. Mm -hmm. Feel confident with this team heading into game three? I felt confident from day one, mm -hmm. from the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. I think you guys have what it takes to defend your title and be national champions. No, we don't. We lack pitching. Game three is a done deal. You know, we on defense first, and like I say, small boy. Feel the, feel the guys can wrap this up? Yes, sir. I told my girls, you know, Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thursday come, and we're going to close the door. Bishop seemed like he didn't want to talk to us, but still they're probably playing now. We'll have those highlights tomorrow. In the feature game tonight, the Y2 shipping Wildcats and the Bomber G operators, they're squared at 1-1. Each team right now knows how pivotal it is to take that one game advantage. Well, I think we need to play defense. Our defense has been extremely sloppy for the past three games, actually, I played. And if we can step up um, on our defense, automatically everybody knows we can hit the ball. Our um, offense will come around. So 
we're going to talk about it um, tonight and hopefully on Thursday we will come back and win the next game. We just need to continue doing the same thing that we did tonight and we may come up victorious. Again, both games going on right now. We'll have highlights for you tomorrow. Still talking softball with their backs against the wall, down 0-2 in the best of five series. The Citibank Challengers living to play yet another day against the Fidelity Bulldogs. They took game three in a nail-biter. Final score, 15-14. Teddy Sweeting was the winning pitcher. We've been losing to the Fidelity all year, so, you know, we... From Saturday, we, we lost a 9-8 game, and then we blew another one in the, in, the sec, in the second game. So we came out here with a mindset that we got to put up a fight against them. We feel we, can, we, feel, we know we could beat them. We got, we got the bots just like they do, and so we just had to come out here and we did our job. What do you do now for game four comes? And possibly game five yeah. on Saturday. <laughs> well, the first thing to do, like we said, we can take one game at a time. We're down 2-1 right now, so we got to win the first game on Saturday, and then we'll look at the second one. Right now, Saturday is a rough one to play a double head in the sun, but we're looking forward to it. And we, we were missing one or two key players. The rain actually caused a couple of players to believe that the, the game actually got canceled. Um, I got here late, and that meant that the lineup that I would have liked to have seen, we didn't do. Uh, we did a defensive change in the third inning, as you saw, and that really stopped the bleeding. Um, um, shortstop is away. He's back on the island tonight. Um, so. You know, the reality is we have been undefeated in the um, playoff. And the fact that they've won a game, you know, it allows us to extend this. We wanted to actually um, end this on Saturday. So Saturday we'll finish this. You have two chances on Saturday. You want to put it away in the first game? Uh, we don't expect it to go more than one game. I'll be, I'll be surprised if that one game is competitive. Again, game four if ne is necessary on Saturday. Game five, not necessary. If they want to, they'll play it as well. That'll be set for Saturday as well. That'll do it for sports. I'm Chris Saunders. Your final look at weather is still to come.